Hello, Robert Bastian here. I want to give you a brief introduction to a disorder that could be plaguing you. We call it sensory neuropathic throat clearing. And what I'm looking to help is people who are excessively or chronically clearing their throats. They've tried mucus medicines of various sorts. They've manipulated mucus around the, the block. They've tried puffers. They tried acid reflux medicines and nothing seems to work. They continue to uh, cough, cough sometimes and clear their throats and they're saying, why is it that no doctor can figure out how to deal with the mucus? Because oftentimes that's what they are relating the problem to. Well, I just want to make a, a, a com comment that when we see people with sensory neuropathic cough, they may have a feeling of a pinprick that initiates their coughing, or they may have a feeling of a feather or inhaling dust. It's easy to convince them that there's no actual dust, there's no actual pin, there's no actual feather, there's no actual sandpaper, it's just the feeling of those things that's initiating their coughing. Well, the same thing can happen with throat clearing. The problem is mucus often becomes the central focus and it's hard to convince people that they could have a feeling of dripping or congestion that is being experienced as mucus, but may, may be more the sensation than the reality of mucus. And that's hard to convince people because, of course, we can produce mucus. I don't really need to, but if I stop for a minute and go, <coughs> I, I think I can produce a little something. And so uh, it's hard for people who are responding to that perceived mucus to believe that maybe it's more the sensation of mucus than actual mucus that is triggering their throat clearing. Well, if this describes you and you're at your wit's end or your spouse is or your friend is because of all the throat clearing you're doing, uh, then think about this idea of a sensory neuropathy that's giving you the sensation of needing to clear your throat, but there is no actual physiologic need. If this fits you, uh, my suggestion for now is to go to our information on sensory neuropathic cough. The difference between <coughs> and <coughs> is just a matter of degree. And so basically everything you find on Laryngopedia about sensory neuropathic cough can apply to sensory neuropathic throat clearing. Uh, and the medications that we sometimes use for sensory neuropathic cough uh, are equally applicable to sensory neuropathic throat clearing. Just so you uh, get a sense of how extreme this can be, I'll give you two very quick scenarios. One young man whom I saw and he was driving his co-workers and family crazy. Every few minutes across the day he was doing this, and pardon me if I hurt your ears, but this is exactly what he was doing. He was going, <coughs> He was making a very loud noise, and when I said to him, why are you doing that? He said, because of, there's mucus, I can feel it, and he pointed sort of into the center chest. Well, I went to the trouble of numbing his nose, his larynx, his trachea, so that I could go all the way down and show him that not only was there no mucus in the location that, I, that he pointed to, but I could show him uh, far deeper in, and I made the point that mucus doesn't just materialize, it has to be, you know, a train doesn't materialize in front of the train station, it has to be coming down the track. And I said to him, I'm looking all the way down the track, deep into your lungs, and there's no particular mucus to explain that level of response uh, that he was doing every day, any, every minute or two across the day. The second one was a, a woman who came in and I'm not exaggerating, this is what it went like. I came into the room and she said, she said, <coughs> doctor, I'm, I'm having this, <coughs> and I could see it on her face. I, you know, I, I introduced myself and, and she'd say, well, for, for at least <coughs> six months, I've been having this problem with, <coughs> there's something in my throat and, <coughs> This is going on all day long, and I've tried every kind of med. <coughs> so she was doing that, that frequently, and that obviously, and with the facial expression that let me know that she was struggling with this sensation. So that's sort of the severe end of sensory neuropathic throat clearing. 
but uh, of course it can be much milder than that, but still be quite disruptive. Well, uh, again, go and listen to the videos on sensory neuropathic cough and the medications for sensory neuropathic cough, and I hope it helps.